Hi everybody, welcome back to Storytime with Miss Megan. I'm Miss Megan and I am super excited about our craft for today. So I'm so glad that everybody came and joined me and learned all about musical instruments and making music and some about how sound works and the different ways that you can group musical instruments into groups. And today we are going to make your own instruments. Are you excited? I know I am. So you might need a little bit of adult help for today's project, but that's okay. Hopefully you won't need too much. And we are going to make our own drums. Is this what you think a drum will look like? This is a specific type of drum called a hand drum, and you play it by doing this. Ooh, how cool is that, you guys? I think we're all gonna have lots and lots of fun with our hand drums when we are done with them. So the other project that I have for you guys today is all about using your own creativity and we'll make our hand drum in just a second, but I'm going to show you this one. So I have for you guys guitars and you are going to get to design and create your own guitar. I did this one. I made an electric guitar and then you can play it. Isn't that awesome? So what you guys will find when it comes to this craft is that you will have a paper guitar with the holes already punched in it so that you can string your guitar and you will have um, a length of yarn to use for your guitar strap. So it is up to you to turn your guitar into a super cool musical instrument and I want you to bring them all by and show me and we can do our best air guitar solos together. And when you're designing your guitar, don't forget to do your strings and your frets. That's one of the most important parts of the instrument. So I'm not going to show you guys anything to do with that one because I figure all of you can use your own creativity to design your guitars. But now let's put together our drums, which I also want you to bring by the library and play for me so that we can all do some music together. So in your craft kit for story time, you are going to find two circles of paper. They will either be purple, yellow, or purple and yellow. You will find one dowel rod, one cardboard circle, two pieces of red thread, and two beads. And your beads could be any color. I honestly don't remember what all colors I put in there, but they will be various colors. And you will also find a whole bunch of stickers. And there will be circles and some squares and I think some circles with the holes out of the middle. I don't know, you'll have assorted stickers in there that you can use to decorate your hand drum. So let's get started putting our drums together. Let Miss Megan take a look at how she did this. Oh, that's right. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do to put our drums together is to poke holes in our cardboard circle. And so you might need an adult's help to do this part, but we need to put holes in our cardboard circle to put our thread through. So you can use scissors or a hole punch if you have one. Right now I'm using a paper clip because Miss Megan forgot to get her scissors when she started filming this and the paper clip happened to be right there. Um, so you know it's whatever you have on hand that you think will work. And if you need an adult's help that is absolutely okay. So we put holes on either side of our cardboard circle and we are going to put our thread through these holes in just a minute. Okay, so we're going to take our first piece of thread and we're going to fold it in half just like this. And then you're going to take the part that has the where it's folded in the middle and you're going to push it through the hole that you just made. You might need an adult's help for this part as well. You might need to make your hole a little bigger. You might need to use the pencil trick or the paper clip trick like Ms. Megan just did to push it through and then you're going to loop the loose ends through the loop end to connect it to the cardboard just like that. Now we're going to do the other side. Okay, so we have both of our threads hooked on to our cardboard circle. So now we are going to take our beads and you're going to loop the bead over both ends of the yarn on either side and then tie a knot to keep the bead attached and I am having so much trouble with my yarn today you guys this was not a difficult thing to do the first time I did it All 
right, so we've got our bead on and we're just going to tie a quick knot to hold the bead in place. And if you need an adult's help with any of these steps, that is A-OK. -okay. We believe in asking for help with our story time projects. So we're going to loop our second bead over the ends of the yarn and tie a quick knot to hold it in place as well. So this is what we have so far. All right, guys, looking good. So now we are going to take our um, skewer and we're gonna use it to make the handle. So we, as you can see with cardboard, it is what we call corrugated, which means there are these little holes in between. So we are gonna take our, um, our skewer and we're going to push it into that cardboard to make the handle. And I'm looking for a good spot to do it. I think right there is a good spot. So you're just gonna push it in between those layers to form the handle, just like so. Ta-da, and look, we've already made one. Now from here, we just have the decorating part. So you're just gonna take your circles and you're gonna glue them down on both sides of your hand drum. A little bit of our trusty glue. Now you will not find glue in your story time kit, but that's okay because I know all of you have glue at home by now. Can't do a Miss Megan project without trusty glue. And we'll glue down one circle to one side, flip it over, get some more of our glue. glue the other circle to the other side and now you get to go crazy decorating your hand drums with as many stickers as you want from your sticker kit and then once it's all done you can make music by spinning them around and this one does not want to stay very well so we're going to use this one to demonstrate you just spin it in your hands like this and you can drum 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 away so swing on by the Terrell County Public Library to pick up some books on music. These are some of the books that we used in story time this week, and we have lots of others on music and musical instruments and song, as well as any other topic that you can think of. And I hope you join me for our next story time here at the Terrell County Public Library. I'm Miss Megan, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.